guys welcome to online web tutor i am sanjay we are learning laravel 8 framework tutorial this is our path number 35 inside this video we are going to see the concept of query builder and inside this we will cover select statements in the last videos to connect with the database we had seen all about running raw queries using db class as well as model based concept but in Laravel, to work with the database, also we have the alternative option of Query Builder. So inside this, we will see that how can we use Query Builder to run select statements. Now if I back to editor, let's open few files, back to routes folder, web.php, this is all about our route configuration file, back to app folder, http, controllers and all about studentcontroller.php file. To work with the query builder class, again we have to use the db class. So how can we load? Simply back to our controller file and at the top of this controller declaration, simply write use and db. By the help of this db class, already we had discussed inside using raw queries. db provides all about insert, update and delete methods as well as select method. Now inside this, we are going to use one more method called table and that table we will use for select statements. This is all about the concept of query builder class. Now if I scroll down, let's say that we are going to create a method which is going to select all the data from a student's table. In the last videos, we had created a table called students and inside that, we had termed our dummy data. If I back to browser, so here we can see that inside this MySQL database, here we have the database and inside this we have a table called students and inside this, we can see we have lots of data. So by the help of Query Builder, we are going to make a query inside this table to select all the data what we have. So back to editor, let's say that public function list, let's say students and inside this we are going to use our query builder method. So how to use? Simply as we know that in the first step we had loaded our db class. So by the help of this db class, back to method and inside here we are going to use db and table method. Now inside this table method, we need to pass the table name. So as we know that we are going to make a list or let's say query to our students table. So simply here we need to write students as the table name and we are going to select the data. So here it will be something called get here. Let's say that we are going to store all the students inside this students variable. Next, I'm going to write a HTML P tag for our output formatting and simply if I write print a and let's say students. If I save all these changes back to web.php file to create a route and let's say here route it will be get request let's say students and inside this we are going to call our student controller it's a class and inside this we have a method of list students so if i copy the method name back to web.php and pasting it here save all these changes of this routes configuration file called web.php and student controller back to browser go here already we have started our development server next time to write call students click on enter and as we can see that it has returned if i create some zoom so it has returned a collection object inside this collection object we are getting our student object this is all about our first record second record and so on up to 498 because total number of, number of records in our table equals to 498. Let's say that in this case we are selecting id, name, 
email, mobile and all the columns what we have inside our table. But in some cases, if we want to select let's say only name and email, so how can we make use of our query builder to select only the specified columns. So back to editor, controller, this is all about to select all the data. Now if we want to select only a specific columns, we need to write called select and here inside this putting a double quotes and let's say that we want name this is our first column we want and the second column let's say email now if we save back to browser reload this page and as we can see that instead of getting all the columns we are getting name and email value if we want to create the alias of this email instead of email we want email address so simply let's say email as email underscore address this is only the alias name what we are creating for our column if we save go here reload this page and as we can see that the email is getting now the email address if we want to put some where condition let's say that we want to select this second number id means for this column for this row if we want to select let's say id also we are going to add the id column into the list save these changes go and reload this page so let's say that we are going to select this id number equal to 5 so how can we apply our where condition so simply back to editor I am going to concatenate with this where method. Inside this where method, simply we need to pass our column name and its value. So let's say that id equals to 5. If we save, go here. And one more thing, just look at this result set. We are getting the collection. This is a collection object which indicating all about the objects of this students. Now if I reload, again we are getting a collection object but inside this case we are getting a single row data. So what we want, we, we don't want to actually take the collection object instead of that we are going to select only this standard object. So instead of collection object we have the first method. Simply the get method returns all about the collection variables. It means the collection of datas. But when we have applied where condition, it is going to select a single row. So while getting single row, instead of using get method, we have used the first method. Save these changes, go and reload this space, and as we can see that we are getting a single row data. If I back to editor, now here as we can see that if I break all the lines or let's say toggle word wrap so inside here we have used the table method where condition select as well as the first method let's say that we are selecting here by the help of primary key because id column is the primary key of this student's table so instead of including where method I am removing that also I am removing this first method only I have used the table method as well as select method to apply the where condition inside primary key we are going to use the find method inside this find method we have passed the value this is the value of id column and on the basis of this id value we are selecting id name and email from this student's table so instead of using where method as well as first method we have used only a find method now if we save all these changes back to browser reload this page we are getting the same output let's say that in some cases we want to select all the email address which is going to end with example.org it means we are not going to select all the data instead we want to put a where condition in which the email value contains the last word as example.org so how can we apply the condition 
back to editor if I make the comment of this line so let's comment that students equal to DB we have table method and inside this table method we need to pass the table name next we need to write the where condition because this time we are going to use the wildcard so let's say where the column name equals to email and the next the email column value should end with example.org so to use the wildcard we need to use the like keyword so let's say that here inside this second value of this where method we need to use our like keyword in the next we need to tell that we want to select all the email addresses which is going to ends with example.org so I am putting person symbol here and in the next this example.org while selecting with this query as we know that we will get the several data we are not going to select any single row instead we will get a collection of data so at the last we need to use the get method now if we save all these changes go here reload this page and as we can see that this is all about the data from our database which is going to contain example.org keyword inside the email address in some cases let's say that we want to select all the rows from this students table whose id equals to let's say greater than if we go at this 14th number page so let's id greater than equals to let's say 330 it means we want to select all the data whose ID greater than or equals to 330. So back to editor. Inside this where method, what I will do, let's ID greater than or equals to and here we need to put the value. So get rid of this string value and we are putting 330. Now if you save all these changes, go here, reload this and as we can see that we are getting 330, 331 and so on. So this is what we have used our query builder method. By using query builder method, inside this video we had seen all about select statements. In the next video, we will see some advanced like queries of select statements as well as we will discuss about insert, update and delete method. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.